action. James Doherty, Grip House in the blue corner. Patrick Welsh, Amiga MMA in the red. Red gloves for Welsh. Black shorts with the white trim for Doherty. Centre ring, heavy low kicks traded in the boxing over the top. Red gloves, as I said, for Welsh. Standing centre ring and trading with Doherty. Neither wants to give ground here. Doherty looking now to push Welsh back but Welsh got through with some clean shots just misses with the back fist Doherty drops there gets back to his feet gets the can it had to come for one of them when they stand toe to toe the hands high the legs chopping low and it's Doherty that went to canvas Welsh again standing in the pocket with him throws the knee and as Doherty gets back he's dropped again with those combinations both men are standing and trading with combination work, neither worrying about defence. They're both taking the opportunity to land, but it's Doherty that takes that second can. One more in this round, and I think it'll be all over. As Welsh forges forward again, and that's solid right hand, right round kick. Somehow, Doherty managed to stay on his feet, but no, as he tries to get up, our referee says that's enough. Three knockdowns in one round. Both men went for it. Neither wanted to give ground, but it was Welsh the stronger. In all the exchanges, it was finally Doherty that went down for the third time, and our referee did the right thing, called the fight at that point. While it lasted, both men got to the centre of the cage and just stood toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Typical K1, the hands high, the chopping low kicks, and it was Welsh staying in the pocket that got what he wanted those knockdowns now it's great sportsmanship between the two but you knew one of them was going to go and sadly for Doherty it was him for Welsh it's a big first round TKO